biologist, Ron Rose. <laughs> Love it. All right, 1131 on this Friday. Friday. Yes, Friday. it's a Friday. I'm with the old end with the news. We're ready for a life hack. That's right. Uh, we were not impressed with yesterday's life well, hack. This wasn't even a life hack. No, it was, it was advice. It was, it was, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Work hard to succeed. That's right. basically what the gist of that was yesterday. All right, let's see if this is a little bit better today. 26. All right, if a nurse or doctor asks you to rate your pain from 1 to 10. Well, this has happened before. Wait, I'm, I'm muted, apparently. Oh, okay. Now, well, that's say fine. that again. I'll get closer. Say that again. Uh, you say your nurse or doctor asks you to rate your pain from 1 to 10. I've had that before, yes, too. Yes, I have, too. Never say 10. These scales, especially in hospitals, are used to see if pain is getting worse or worse, or better or worse. Now, if your pain number goes from 7 to a 9, an X-ray or a CT scan may get expedited. So it'll speed up the process. But never say 10 first. Even if you are in 10 pain. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I guess. Say nine, I based guess. Based on somebody's experience, that's probably good advice. I Thank goodness I've never had 10 pain. No, I can't imagine. You know, I, I've, I've had some excruciating pain with a, you know what, probably was the worst pain that I've had when I had like an earache. It was just like, oh, yeah. it's like my inner ear was just splitting. No way to rest. Toothache yeah. would be for me. The yeah. worst ever. You can't lie down. You can't, you know. Yeah, and it's, it's always right. at three o'clock in the morning. I, I know. I couldn't never. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the three o'clock in the morning is when I normally get up. So it wakes me up. <laughs> Wake up with an earache. Let's take a look outside right now. A few tower cam stops on this Friday. Uh, yeah, it's great. No doubt about it. Every stop we see is going to be great. That's our Bill Morgan roofing camera there at the Hampton Inn looking out toward the Blue Bridge uh, under the gray sky. And yeah, nothing too exciting there. And these clouds don't even have much definition. It's just like strata. There's a straight stratus. And that's what stratus stands for. It's straight. I mean, it's just like straight clouds. There's no real definition. No puffy cumulus clouds out there to enjoy. Uh, anyways, we take a look at the uh, traffic out there on 66 and 69. Plenty of it. Uh, it's all moving. And that's a good thing, too. And you can see, it looks like the sunshine's trying to bust out. We might see a little bit of sunshine today. We can see a little bit of sunshine over the weekend, too. Just don't expect much of anything, uh, sunshine-wise, until next week. Uh, this is a deck of clouds over U.S. side on the west side of town, looking out toward the west and looking to the southwest right now uh, from on top of Fifth Third Bank. Downtown Evansville in all its glory. Uh, 47 degrees, and we've got a west wind at 9 miles an hour. So, yeah, wind has picked up just a little bit, enough to add a bit of a chill. But, I mean, we're getting close to 50, and really, once you get 50 and 50, and beyond 50, a little bit warmer, you don't really account for the wind chill. So yeah, but we're close enough. I mean, but still, with west wind at 9, it's going to be a bit of a chill. Pressure's on the rise and pretty rapidly, too. So here we go again with that stuff. But we're going to be seeing a low pressure system move in tomorrow. We're going to see it drop uh, pretty quickly, too, as that low moves in and more rain, of course, falls on us. How low can we go? We're going to range through the 40s here, I think. 41 degrees in uh, Flora, 42 in Fairfield, 43 in French Lake, 44 in Princeton, 45 in Jasper, 46 Santa Claus, 47 in Evansville, 48 in Beaver Dam, and 49 degrees in Princeton, Kentucky. Now, it is 55 in Morgantown, but that's out of the tri-state, so we don't have to worry about that. A nice little temperature run, basically through the 40s right there. Uh, it was, if you include Princeton, Kentucky. Anyway, visibility-wise, still a hint of fog up around French Lake, over toward Mount Vernon, Illinois, too. If you're traveling west toward St. Louis, nothing treacherous, Nothing like what we had yesterday. And even yesterday at this time, the fog was still pretty thick. But yeah, visibility 10, 10, 10, Evansville, Henderson, and Owensboro. I like to see that. Live first warning Doppler showed a whole lot of nothing. Maybe a couple of droplets on your windshield, uh, but nothing more than that today. We've had plenty of rain so far this week, and of course, more to come tomorrow as well. What you see in green, basically well over an inch of rain. And heaviest rain I could find... I mean, the Evansville Airport, we had a little over an inch of rain, too. So solid soaking, really, all across the board. Uh, here's a little pocket right here between Leopold and Tell City. 2.3 estimated by Doppler radar. So pretty heaping helping of rain there in southern Perry County, no doubt. Anyway, a lot of clouds across the area. It looks like we can have a few breaks upstate, but not many. Uh, we're all pretty much socked in. So we take a look at the bigger picture. Now, the rain from yesterday kind of is lifted to the north up in the Great Lakes. And look at this. I mean, we're, they're seeing rain even as far north as the UP of Michigan. It is rain. So it's a nice little shot of warmth for the Great Lakes. Anyway, here's an area of low pressure uh, that's taking shape out west. And that's going to be tracking to our south. But it is going to be kicking the rain up from the Gulf of Mexico our way. And we're going to get wet again soon enough, but not today. Anyway, just maybe a few breaks in the clouds today, but we're pretty much socked in. If we head into the overnight hours, same deal. But as first thing tomorrow... We're going to be noticing, now the sun is rising at 7 o'clock. It's when it rose this morning. So right around 7. It'll be around 7 again tomorrow. Uh, you can see right along the Western Kentucky Parkway at 6.30, just before the sunrise behind a deck of clouds, uh, we're going to be seeing the rain creeping in from the south. You can see even some heavier pockets of rain, too, uh, down to the south in the morning. But the better chance for heavier rain will come in the afternoon. Bit of a break. 
for some of us around midday only to have another wave of rain pushing in. Might hear a few rumbles of thunder out there. Nothing severe is expected. That threat staying well to our south. And we're not finished with it at 6.30 on Saturday. We've got another line of showers uh, pushing through as we head into the overnight hours, finally tapering off at around daybreak on Sunday. So pretty much a washout on Saturday, and maybe even a few flakes of snow on the tail end of the system up to the northeast around Jasper, Lagodi, and also Washington. And we're going to be seeing a mainly dry day on Sunday. Really, after daybreak, it will be dry, it looks like. Uh, rainfall forecast. Now, the latest run on future trackers cranking up the numbers just a little bit. Anywhere from about a half an inch to about an inch and a quarter uh, to the west is what it's showing. But I think most of us will be closer to half an inch, three quarters of an inch out there is what we're going to have. That would be for tomorrow. Not today, of course. Uh, 50 degrees and dry today. Plenty of clouds, though, still hanging around, even though the fog and the rain are out of here. Uh, west, northwest wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. On that three degree guarantee, called for a high yesterday of 56, got up to 54. That works. Works for Eric Reynolds of Drakesboro. Congratulations, Eric. You've got yourself a sock cab courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. And here's a look at the next seven days. Temperatures are going to be uh, in the 40s tomorrow and also on Sunday. In fact, the average high, though, is 42 degrees. So pretty much spot on the average by Sunday, but still chillier than what we have today. And we got a little more of a breeze. Of course, the rain tomorrow, rain tapers off early Sunday. Look at all the sunshine that we have in store for us and temperatures in the 50s yes. next week. That is something to look forward to. That yes, is something indeed. we deserve after what we have been through over the past <laughs> couple of weeks with the bitter cold and now all the rain and the clouds and the fog. Hey, check out this funky fruit, a fish face tater. You got one eye there, one eye there. There's a mouth. There's a, there's a tooth right there even. Colleen Davis sent that one in. I thought it was pretty fun. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back.